Uh, hello, uh, thank you for having me today. Uh, my name is Tamir Kuli. I'm uh, studying my PhD at the Butler School of Gattu Studies and um, at, at the Space Group. And actually, I'm investigating the role of sudden mental insights or eureka moments uh, on the structure of reasoning in the design process. And um, we start by questioning, uh, have you ever experienced uh, sudden mental insights while you design and uh, change everything while you design? So uh, this is a phenomenon that uh, bridges between our cognitive thinking uh, while we pursue design and uh, um, uh, how we think and, and produce novel ideas and the formation of novel concepts. Actually, um, I'm proposing a model that uh, we can identify the segments of design um, that captures the structure of reasoning and then to identify, uh, to investigate the rule uh, inside the course of actions. Um, we have two deba uh, a debate between two different uh, research paradigms that insights are incremental versus they are uh, sudden and breakthroughs. Uh, sudden mental insights have some principles about it. A uh, sample of um, um, uh, Archimedes and we have to pass through a fixation moment then to generate or to think of uh, a sudden insight or um, it's a collision between two different chunks of uh, ideas. Um, we are observing um, uh, some architects uh, using uh, ethnographic observations and we aim to capture the structure of events and such sudden changes in the design process. Um, Well, uh, we, we have a debate here between uh, an insight that frames the preceding concept or the formal concept we are using uh, while we design and uh, versus that we uh, that that insight might restructure everything in the process it restructures the design problem and then we shift to do uh, something totally different um, i'm going to show a video of someone um, uh, one of our architects we observed 18 architects and we try to segment between the sketching episodes and uh, refer this to qualitative analysis and then quanti quantitative uh, measurements for uh, the relationships, dependency relationships between the uh, episodes. So actually this is um, uh, a snapshot of that architect she was designing two, uh, three different um, uh, projections of the same, um, of, of one idea, and she was developing it between uh, three different projections like plan and se section and, and, and isometry, and all of a sudden she changed to something else. Uh, we can move forward, please. Yes, so we have. Um, a whole like set of drawings and segments and stuff like that. Some architects start with um, uh, um, single episodes and then uh, for, for conceptual elements and then they um, synthesize between them all through the process. So we have convergence of ideas versus divergence as well. Um, we adopt the model of uh, uh, Donald Schoon that design is a reflective conversation with the situation and um, there is um, uh, that concept of reflection in action. So we compare every uh, pairwise uh, episodes together until we find a sudden change. We, pro uh, we uh, hypothesize, we can move forward please. We hypothesize that we can capture the uh, structure of reasoning through the artifacts and external representations of the mind. Um, for example, this was drawn and then was synthesized here, and then we draw links and find uh, if every um, um, at each point there is a transformation or there is a new idea is coming, uh, we put a line and identify this as a segment. Also, sketching is is a novel uh, innovative process actually we w sometimes we start uh, uh, the traditional way we s sketch from the mind and generate forms but sometimes we don't realize that those forms might reflect back something we haven't uh, started with and uh, we are, uh, we come up with concluded our uh, qualitative model uh, defining two different um, uh, phenomenon or, or two different outcomes of our actions while we design, which some of them defy uh, the preceding um, a moment or, or some of them preserve them. Um, we draw this using something called linkography uh, to uh, represent or model the uh, segments and, and their dependency relationship um, that might be uh, transform to different way of representations such as Markov chain is, is something um, 
that we can uh, even um, identify the entropy of measurement between and the uh, expectation between every sing uh, two single moments. And then we can say if, if the person has uh, uh, predicted this or not, or was it uh, a sudden. We developed the model and we are overlaying actions with um, uh, media of sketching and media of, uh, of design. So then we can uh, test the uh, hypothesis that uh, we might have a switch between two different representations that come up with something different. When we compare sketches and transfer, uh, transfer information between them, we also study uh, levels of cognitive actions and we uh, proposed a computational model to compare two different um, um, states of the moment uh, once it was emerged synchronously with, with the preceding moments and after completion of the whole process how it uh, added structure or had, how it directs the process afterwards. Um, we have two different types of structures of networks. This is network analysis thing. Uh, we have deep structures and chat. Shallow structures, sudden mental insights should be uh, 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 disconnect, disconnecting from the whole Lincoln graph. We have a totally uh, disconnected event and uh, that might be even replaced from the Lincoln graph, which was um, a new idea uh, introduced to the process. We can um, measure these using different set of uh, depth measurements and syntactic uh, network analysis and information measurements. We, we, we overlap all of them in one model. Okay. And now we are uh, producing something called J-graph. J-graph is uh, the relations between uh, insights are classified to steps of relations. We have direct and versus indirect. We can find that uh, sudden insights can be uh, highlighted in, in, in this quantitative way. We have network analysis as well. And we uh, identify the relations between two different sets that might be unrelated or related. There might be uh, connections between them. Um, this helps us to uh, uh, interpret uh, the transformation of concept through the design process. We, we have also uh, configured uh, configurations of networks and relations between um, um, chunks of ideas in the design process. We have conversions versus divergence, and divergence might disconnect the whole uh, pattern. We come up with configurations of uh, sudden insights. Or, or creative actions, I would say, because uh, sudden insight is one of the cases. Um, we, ha um, we come up with a conclusion that sudden mental insights transform the design process from being transitional and being transformative uh, to become hierarchical, giving order to, to the following actions to follow that um, uh, sudden idea uh, occurring. Thank you very much for your <laughs>